Back like we never left BDA, and this episode of One Punch Man felt different. It had some funny moments, but it had some more serious moments as well. It's basically a meteor coming down, S-Class is summoned, Genos, and we meet Fang. Uh, this old guy who's supposedly S-Class, I forget his rank, but they have an interesting conversation, him and Genos, because him and Genos, they talk about the meteor, and he says some of them, the S-Class heroes, some of them come, some of them don't, it just depends on how they feel because they're only summoned when it's a dragon type problem. We go through ranks as far as the problems, and it was a dragon problem, and a god problem, and, and two others. We move on, and then there's a meteor coming down, okay, and then this meteor, Genos tries to stop it, and he could not, and then we have Metal Knight, who <laughs> Genos addressed as Bufoy, I believe, and he had an issue with that, it was just random stuff, but Genos couldn't stop the meteor, so then Saitama had to come through, because Genos, he was questioning himself, his ability, and Fang was there, he said, yo, you're too young to be worried about outcomes, just do your best and go forward, so it was a lot of serious moments, anyway, Saitama comes in, and Saitama does his thing, and he just straight up destroys the meteor with one punch, but the issue is when a meteor is coming down, even though you destroy the meteor, fragments are still going to fly, right? So that destroyed the town, not as much as it would have annihilated everything, but just, you know, a lot of destruction. This is the funny part because Genos gets credit for it, Metal Knight gets credit as well, and Saitama does get credit. He moves from C class rank 342 to rank 5, and then Tank Top Tiger from, you know, we met last episode, and his brother Tank Top Black Hole. They show up and they accuse Saitama of cheating. He's totally forgotten who Tank Top Tiger is. It's hilarious. He's like, who, who are you again? <laughs> it's like, seriously, who are you? And they had this tactic where they're trying to pit the people of that town against them, basically saying, you're the reason why they have nowhere to live, and blah, blah, blah. It was like a public spectacle just to turn them against them so they can basically bask in his glory. They attack Saitama. Saitama grabs Tank Top Black Hole's hand. It's like, yo, honestly, I don't give a shit about any of y'all. I just did this because I like doing it because I'm a hero, okay? I, I don't care what you guys think about me. So if you want to criticize me, go ahead because I, I don't give a shit anyway. Genos shows up and says, let's go home, Sensei. And it just shows the respect that Genos has with Saitama. And it wasn't that many funny moments. It really felt like it was a serious anime. And that's not what I expect from One Punch Man. So it kind of threw me off. Fang says it's about Saitama that he's, that's the strongest man he's ever seen. So... He doesn't want to seem right away in the hero industry, so resigning could be an option. But it was it was a different episode, enjoyable nonetheless, but they switched it up. It had some comedic moments, but not as much as we normally expect from One Punch Man. So, eh, do you think Saitama has an uphill battle as far as the hero system? It seems that Saitama doesn't really care about what they think anyway, but I think he wants to be a legitimate hero that's recognized. Good episode though, just different. So yeah, let me know what you thought about the episode, guys. Like the video if you did, comment, don't forget to subscribe. Good day.